your plate? Plate. What's in your plate? GTA. What's, what's in your plate? Big plate. What's in your plate? Oh, 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 oh. What's in your plate? Plate. What's in your plate? GTA. What, what's in your plate? Big plate. What's in your plate? Oh, One thousand. What's in your plate? Plate. What's in your plate? GTA. What, what's in your plate? Big plate. What's in your plate? What's in your plate? Plate. What's in your plate? GTA. What, what's in your plate? Big plate. What's in your plate? One thousand. GTA. Kisa. What's good? Another day. Another video. GTF was good, man. GTF was going on. Hey, GTF, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. Your boy got some back pain going on since yesterday. You feel me? I should be taking it easy right now, but you feel me? I'm a grinderholic, so I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. My back killing me right now. Uh, I went to try to pick something off the floor. Well, really, I just went to try to pick the remote control because the remote control, the TV remote fell on the floor. And uh, I don't know what I did wrong, but my back is killing me right now, fam. I ain't even cap with y'all, you feel me? But I ain't gonna let that stop the grind, though. You understand me? So with that being said, I was looking on my phone, uh, looking on Yelp, rather, for, for places to grub. But this time, you feel me? Like, I was looking and I was seeing some stuff with bad reviews, where, like, low reviews come across the feed. Low reviews to me is like, you know, if you got, like, a three or less, you know what I mean? To me, in my opinion, that's kind of like worse reviews. You, that's like bad reviews, you feel me? Having a three, because to be honest with you, I'm not trying to eat at no place. If I look and the review says a three, it's a three or lower than that, you feel me? Like, I'm not really trying to eat at those type of places. So I came across this little burger spot on here, right? I ain't gonna say the name yet because, you know, it's supposed to be a surprise and it has low reviews. So I said, you know what? We're gonna check that out, you feel me? And see why they giving this such a low review. So. I got a couple of the reviews here, right here. Uh, read a few to them. Read a few of them to you. Uh, right here says, one of them says, I had a medium cooked double butcher's boy and it was probably the worst burger I've had in 2022. Nothing was good about this burger except it's bun. Dry, no taste coming from the salt. I mean, no taste coming from the sauce full of salt. Don't eat this burger if you have some self-respect. Wow. Another one says, this place was not good. Look for Look for food for a while and when would it settled on in thinking it was safe bet. Ridiculously expensive and the burger is the size of my fist alone on a de depressing tray. No fries, etc. It was edible and it ended at that. Would it would have been happier at Wendy's or Shake Shack? One more. The service was good. The ambiance was minimalist. The food was terrible. The burger was dry. If you're going to use brisket, which is fairly lean cut, add fat to the grind. The burger had weird texture that I have only seen with the value box burgers at Save a Lot. You feel me? I'm like, wow, you feel me? I'm like, damn. I don't know. I'm like, man, let's go see what they, I mean, let's go see what's going on. Cause I can't understand. Like, you feel me? Like, damn, they scores a 2.7. You feel me? So I'm like, man, we got to go check this out, man. So that's what we doing today, man. We going over here to check this one. To me, the worst. The, ver the worst reviewed burger spot in my city, you feel me? So, let go! to the right hand side but the thing is man the problem is this is Wynwood man trying to find parking out here is crazy you feel me like when you from down here see this is more of a tourist type of situation coming down here to Wynwood like when you from down here you know if you think like me you don't really want to be bothered with all this you know traffic and trying to find parking and all that it'd be a straight hassle bruh We here, yard. We in Winwood with it, man. The overhyped Winwood, you understand me? A lot of people might think, you feel me, it's not overhyped, but to me, it's overhyped, you heard? Winwood, you understand me? Only thing I really like about coming to Winwood is the graffiti, bro. All 
All right, fam. We got the grub. Hey, y'all already know, grub on sight. Don't cause no fight. You heard? In fact, one thing I want to let y'all know as well, man, everybody experience is different when they go to places, you feel me? Like, I understand the people, you know, I don't know. You know, the place got a 2.7. You know, some people said, you know, I read some of the reviews said they took long. You feel me? Uh, I got my food rather quick if you ask me, you feel me? So, I ain't gonna lie, man. It's sound like there's some road rage going on down there. Uh, all right, fam. We in the whip yard, and we got the grub yard. Yo, fam, we had to Gary, hurry up and get up in the whip yard. Sound like it's some road rage going on down there. And we don't really want no parts of that, you feel me? When, when you from where I'm from, you just tend to mind your business, you feel me? Just hurry up and get up out the way, you feel me? In case them people start letting shots fly. You understand me? I don't want to get hit by no straight. But, uh, yeah, we got the grub. And like I was saying, man, everybody experience is different when they go to places. My experience might be different. I read some of these reviews that were bad or what have you. I don't know. So we about to see, you feel me? We about to see. Got the receipt right here on deck. But y'all know I'm gonna give y'all the damage report at the end. But I did get a whole meal. Uh and I did get a the name of the burger meal that I got is called Pink Power Double Smash Burger. I ain't gonna lie, they running out of ink. They need to, they need to replace the ink. I ain't gonna lie, that's my first complaint. Y'all need to replace the ink, fam. Cause part of my um receipt here, I can't read. But I think it's Pink Power Double Smash Burger, and it's basically supposed to be a burger uh that supports the whole uh, breast cancer movement. You feel me? And I'm all for supporting the breast cancer movement. Real talk, no cap. You feel me? But yeah, fam. Time to set up Grub Tech Mobile Studios. We got that. Let's pop this thing open. See, they need that boy that brown paper bag. Oh, before we start, too, I, before I forget, I wish I was rolling the camera at this point. But then I wasn't really rolling the camera because, you know, sometimes when the music be rolling, when the music be going on, it's a lot, it was a lot of music in there. When the music be going off, I be turning off the camera. And, yeah, I wasn't thinking about having it rolling, but I ran, I bumped head with some of the GTF in there, you feel me? Shout out to them, shout out to the GTF that I met over here at the, what's the name of the place? The Mad Butcher, by the way, because I don't remember, I don't remember if I told y'all the name. It's called The Mad Butcher. While I was there, I bumped heads with some of the GTF in there, you feel me? Real cool people. I met one of them, and he was from Miami. Then I met another, a couple of them that came from Jacksonville. They on some trip uh, with Job Corps, you feel me? They on some thing with Job, Job Corps trying to get, uh, you know, in the process of getting a trade or what have you. Shout out to them, you feel me? Appreciate y'all, appreciate y'all, man. Most definitely is love, you heard? All right. We got the burger right here. Fam, I ain't gonna lie. I, I ain't even gonna cap with y'all. Like, one, some of the reviews I read said something about the burger being small. I haven't opened this burger yet, but from the packaging alone, unless this burger is filled with air, it doesn't look small to me. Unless this foil paper is filled with air, the burger don't look small to me. You feel me? But we gonna find out though. All right, so I told y'all I got the combo. That's the burger in there. These are the fries. Now I'm gonna keep it real. I guess the person was exaggerating, but you know, I, I get their point. One of the reviews I read said something about giving you nothing but like eight pieces of fries. This is more than eight pieces of fries, I ain't no, no lie. But, like I said, I'm gonna give y'all the damage report at the end. For the amount of money that I spent, this is a little bit of fries, you know? I guess the person was just trying to make their point by saying eight fries, in other words, a little bit of fries. I ain't gonna lie, for, for the amount I spent, I was expecting more fries than this. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. They might taste good, but this is a little bit of fries, man. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, fam. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. They, the person who, who talked about the fry, the little, well, it was, I think it was probably two reviews I saw that said something about the fry. Other was more. Like I said, it was a whole bunch of, well, I don't know how many reviews they got, but I only read a few. 
but it was like at least two of them or three of them that I saw that they spoke on fries, and they ain't lying. Them fries is a little bit. So yeah, so that's the combo. I got the burger, I got the fries, I got the drink, you heard? So uh, let's go ahead and unravel this thing, man. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of excited to show y'all this burger because y'all gonna be like, what the, you feel me? Unless you've seen something like this before, but this is my first time seeing something like this. Remember I told y'all this burger represents breast cancer awareness. Look at this. Voila. That big got the pink bun, Jared. Call it thing pinky, you feel me? With pinky in the brain. With pinky in the brain. Y'all see that bun? That thing pink out here. Got the pink buns on that mud, yeah. I ain't fan that close up action, y'all heard? Y'all see what's going on, man. Y'all see them fries. Which is not enough. But nonetheless, the pink burger, the breast cancer burger, is looking right. It smells right. We can't wait to dig in, fam. Y'all drop in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this pink burger, man. I right, fam. We about to dig in, you heard? I ain't gonna lie. I wish I could have sat inside and did this review. But, uh, it was loud in there. They had that music blasting, you feel me? And then it's Friday, too, so they in party mode over there. <laughs> you feel me? If you feel me, you went to that party vibe on the weekend, go to Winwood, fam. I ain't even gonna cap with y'all. Hold on one second. All right, so, um, yeah, we about to dig in. We're going to just start off with the fries because they gave me some little. They gave me a little bit of ketchup over here. So they gave me such a little bit of fries. We're going to just start with that. Fries is nice and hot. They fresh. I ain't going to lie about that. You feel me? Fried a little, li fried a little lighter than golden. You feel me? Fries, hit the bit. I'm away. Mm. Mm -hmm. GTL plaque, you want ends on these fries? GTL plaque, hit the bit. B? GTL plaque, let me know what you think, bro. GTL plaque, say them things. Let me hit him one more time to see. Fries are nicely fried. Just right. Not over fried, not under fried. Got a nice crisp to them. Good flavor to them. These fries is most definitely fried. On a scale of one to 10, I gave these fries 8.5, 8.5 for the fries. Mm -hmm. You know what? We're going to take that back. We would have gave them an 8.5, but we giving them an 8.3. Why? Because they gave so little. So we're going to give them an 8.3, 8.3 on the fries. Hold on. Open up that ketchup. Dip DB. Hit DB. Mm. Even better. Even better with that ketchup. Somebody's texting me at the same time, fam. My bad. It's kind of important. 
Um, yeah, so that's good. This is that raspberry iced tea right here. Y'all know I love that raspberry iced tea. Stir that thing up. Make sure that thing ice cold. You feel me? Gotta get the ice circulating in that mud, you understand me? Like a hurricane, you heard? This pink burger hitting for. Now it's supposed to be a double smash, smash burger situation going on. I ain't gonna lie, I don't like the way this lettuce looking. I mean, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I'm gonna keep it. Real. I don't like the way the lettuce looking. So we gonna just discard. We gonna discard the lettuce. If we gonna discard that. Other than that, everything else look good. We got the tomato on there. We got some pickles down there, if you can see that. We got some bacon on here. We got double the smash patties on here. We got that cheese. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, my bad. Yes, sir. It's about to go down. There's some type of special sauce on here. I don't know what's the sauce. Let me see. Well, I'm pretty sure the, 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 the receipt ain't gonna say what kind of sauce is on here. And my burger's supposed to be well done. I ordered it well done, by the way. But there's some pickles on here, some special type of sauce on here. I don't know what kind of sauce it is. Minus the lettuce. The burger looking good. You feel me? Now, I ain't gonna lie. Somebody said, like I said, from the reviews that I was reading, they said the burger was smaller than your fist and all that other stuff. And it's about the same size as my fist. This is a pretty big burger right here. Maybe the specific burger that person ordered, like I said, I ain't trying to discredit nobody's experience at a spot. Everybody have their own experience. I might go here and have a good experience. You might go there and have a bad experience. I can't take away from your experience, you feel me? Like, that would be crazy for me to be like, oh, you lying. You feel me? Like, I ain't, you know, I ain't doing that. Like, I ain't downing nobody's experience. You feel me? Like, I ain't. I ain't, that's like having disregard for somebody's ex experience. You don't want to do that. But I don't know what burger that person ordered. But this one right here, the pink. I keep forget the name is kind of long. Pink Power Double Smash Burger. Pink Power Double Smash Burger. In my opinion, this burger is not small. Now... One bad thing I complain about it is that I don't like the way I don't like I feel like this lettuce wasn't fresh. Like I could do without that lettuce. It should have given me a better piece of because I do like lettuce, but I want my lettuce to be fresh, you feel me? It could have given me a better look at that. You see the size. You see the size to my surprise, you heard? Leaking. All right, fam. Here goes nothing. Pink power, pink power double smash burger. Hit DB. B. GTF plaque. You want ends on this? GTF plaque say nah, he's straight. GTF plaque say, <laughs> GTF plaque say, what I look like eating a pink burger? He, GTF plaque, one of the type of people you feel me like. He believe pink is for girls. You know what I mean? He wouldn't wear a pink shirt. If he believe anything associated with pink is for girls, I ain't no problem with it. You feel me? But before I tell y'all what I think about it. It did be again. I 
I mean, the bun, the bun is not bad. It's a pink bun. It's lightly toasted. It's a bun. It's just pink. Um, the burger patties. The burger patties do got some good flavor to it. But I seen one in the comments or one of the reviews. Somebody said something about their burgers being salty. If you're the type of person that don't like too much salt, I can see why you would say that this is salty. I don't mind salt. I mean, I wouldn't go super duper crazy with salt. But at the same time, I don't mind salt either. You feel me? But I can see why somebody would say that this burger is salty. Like, But some people like salt, though. You feel me? So it all depends on, just like how I be talking about my spice tolerance, it all depends on your salt tolerance, too. You feel me? Some people might say, ooh, this is salty, but it's flavorful. Hit it, baby. Wash it down. The bacon. The bacon does add a salty. You know, the bacon gonna actually add extra salt to it. But we gonna try this bacon though. We're gonna take it off the burger and see what's up with it. You see that bacon? The bacon is all right. The bacon would have been better if it was crispy. It's not crispy, it's just regular. It's regular degular, you know? I would enjoy it more if the bacon was crispy. Hit baby. pickle mm -hmm. pickle crispy tangy um the burger patty I asked them for well done is most definitely well done I have no problem with that some people like their burgers Rare, medium, rare, whatever y'all call all that. I don't want none of that. You feel me? I need mine well done. And it's most definitely well done, so I can't complain about that. It's cheesy. Overall, fam, I like this burger. Um, Like I said, for anybody that don't have a high to salt tolerance, you would definitely say this is salty. The burger patties are well done the way I like it. The bacon should have been crispier. I think that it should have been crispier. I don't like the way this... They gave me like this this salad, this lettuce, I mean, it's not fresh. I don't like that. But other than that, it's a good burger though, fam. I can't complain. Besides what I complained about. Other than that, it's a good burger. I could vibe with it. You feel me? Just give me a fresh piece of lettuce. Give me some crispy bacon, you feel me? It's already cheesy. And it's flavorful. Like I said, you feel me? I ain't trying to dismiss those other people's experience. But my experience is not that bad. Some of the things they did in, the, in those reviews, they did say were true, especially about the, a little bit of fries, especially if I'm a, when I give y'all this damage report, boy, I know y'all gonna complain, boy, I ain't gonna cap with y'all. I know y'all gonna complain, and I can't blame y'all either. Fries. g Plaque, you sure you don't want hands on this? Burger? That boy refused. To eat a pink burger. Mm -hmm. Thug in with my round. My bun's pink. The burger patty brown. Ah, I don't like that. 
thugging with my round. Burger buns pink. Burger patty brown. Ah, y'all like that. Y'all like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. You heard? Yeah, sir. I ain't gonna lie, your boy four. Your boy four. Take another bite. definitely make it extra extra salty I ain't gonna lie all right fam damage report pink power double smash burger but before we get into the damage report I know that it, some of the comments were saying some of the reviews were saying that the customer service, people at the cashier was rude and all that other stuff. I didn't really get a chance to really interact with them like that. Besides going there and paying for my food, being the fact that the music was so loud, you can really interact with the staff anyway. Except for the hostess cashier while I was uh, ordering my food and she seemed, it seemed like it was sort of like a language barrier, but she really, but she under, at least she understood what I was saying. Other than that, I didn't really get no attitudes or nothing like that. So yeah, damage report. Pink Power Double Smash Burger. $14.99, you heard? That's just the burger alone. That's not the meal. French fries. A little bit of fries. See the container. A little bit of fries. $4, you heard? Hold on. Fountain drink. Three fifty. Oh, what if it happened to like dollar drinks, bro? Dollar fifty drinks, bro. Three fifty. Subtotal twenty two forty nine. You heard? A dollar eighty one tax. Grand total twenty four thirty. You heard? Twenty four thirty. 